Hello YouTube. Today I have an awesome working missile launcher and the best part about it is I'm going to show you how to build it. It uses very basic bricks so you should have everything it needs. The cool and one of the other coolest parts about it is the missile explodes on impact. It flies 9 to 12 feet and reaches an altitude of 2.5 to 4 feet depending on which mode you put it in. Here's what I mean by modes. Down here you can see it has a red pin. Right now it's in the upper mode. But to move it to the lower mode, pull out the pin and stick it in the bottom. And now it's in the lower mode. The launcher is kind of tricky to load, but it's well worth the effort. I'm going to explain how it works first though. This is the pin, and when you pull this out, it launches the rocket. The piece that launches the rocket though is this. It has a little hole in it, so that when you stick this pin in a hole back here, it will keep this from coming back out to launch the rocket. I load the rocket first though. Here you can see is the rocket. It is segmented so that when it hits the ground, it will explode. You have to load it in piece by piece. You need to be careful because sometimes the segments will be twisted a little bit like this, so you have to straighten them out while you're pushing this in. And once you have the, the, the rocket in about this far, you take your pin and stick it in here. And the rocket won't launch yet. Before I show you the building instructions, I'm going to launch the rocket or missile. It's in mode, it's in the upper mode. And it went everywhere. There's a piece, there's a piece, there's a piece, there's a piece. I'm going to launch it again, but this time from the lower mode. Let's see what it does. I moved it slightly closer. That worked pretty well. Okay, here are the actual building instructions. First, you need to start out with a green 32 by 32 base plate, or some other large base plate. Now I'm gonna show you how to build the rocket. You take a 2x2 two two thick piece and stack a second one on top. Then take a round stud and you're going to have to stick it in the middle. These are sometimes kind of tricky. And there you go. Now you just need to make three more of these. Here they are. So you'll have four in total. Take one of them and stick a second one on top. You'll be sticking the stud inside the little circle. And do that with all of them. And now you should have this row of four of these. Now you're gonna have to make one more segment, but slightly different. Take one of these, stack on another, just like before. But this time, instead of adding on a little dot, You'll add on a third one. Then you need to take a 2x2 two two cone and stick it on top. And take a small cone, a 1x1 one one cone, and stick that on top of the first one. Now you have the top of your rocket. You can have a little spike up here if you want. Now you're going to take the rest of your rocket and attach it on. And there you go. There's the rocket. Now, you're going to build the base. You need to take a 6x8 platform and two 2x4s or a 2x8. And set them down like that. Take another 6x8, flip it over, and attach your 2x4s or 2x8 on the bottom, like this. Now you'll take this piece and stick this on next to it. Then you're going to make another 2x8, or you can use two 2x4s or a 2x6 and a 2x2. Yeah, two and, two two. and you're trying to make an 8x8 eight eight platform in total that's too thick. It doesn't really have to be too thick, but it's easiest to work with it that way. Now you need to set this aside. 
and take a 2x8, doesn't matter what color it is, take a 2x4 and stick it on like this. Take another 2x4, or you can just take a 2x8, and then take a red 2x2, doesn't really matter the color though, and stick it on like that. Set this aside for a minute and make a second one. So you're just making two more, two, you're just making another two by eight bar that's too high. Now you'll take it and stick it on like this. Take your other one and stick it on on the opposite end. So now it should look like this. Set this aside and take a 1x4 and one of these. I got this from a power miner set. Or you can just take normal hinge pieces and you just use two normal hinge pieces that fit and stick them on and stick this piece of two of the hinge pieces on here. Next, you need to take a thick 2x8, or you can make this out of smaller platform. It needs to be 2x8. And stick it on here. Make that right in the middle. Now you'll take a 1x4 thick and stick that in the middle again. And set this aside. Next, you'll take a two by three and stick a two by four on top of it and then you'll take a two by twelve and stick that on here so it should look like this now set this down take a four by four and two one by threes stick one on here that on the underside. Take another one and stick it right here on the opposite side. It's a little bit hard to see because it's black, but oh well. Now you need to take this piece again and with them aiming with that, stick this on. And now you just set this down. Now for the next step, you'll take this piece and this piece. Stick this one on like this. Now you'll take this piece, make sure that the hinges are aiming inwards, and stick it on right here. Now you just need to set this aside. Take two 2x2s, two or a 2x4, and a 2x3, they're thick. Set them like this, and you'll need to take a Two by eight, a uh, one by eight Technic piece like this. Oops, sorry. And stick it on all these pieces. And you'll have a little bit sticking off of this end. Set this down and take two one by fours and lay them next to the Technic piece like this. So it should look like this. Now take a 1x3, stick it on right here. Then you need to take a Technic 1x2 that has two holes in it and stick that on next to the 1x3. Take a 1x1 one stick that on right there and then a 2x2 two two, and stick it on right here basically you're just doing is filling it up putting these technique pieces here and just filling up the rest of the space however you want now you'll take a 1x2 and stick it right here and a 1x4 and stick that on right here then for the top row Take a 2x2, two two, stick it there, a 2x3, stick it on right here, and another 2x3, 
and stick it on the end. So now you should have a piece that looks like this. Set this aside. Now you're going to be making another piece um, like this one, except it'll be very similar but have a few minor differences. So you'll start out with two 2x2s two or 2x4 two and stick a 2x3 next to it. This time you'll take another one of these long 1x8 Technic rods and stick it on like this. This time it will be on this side instead of this side. Now you take a 1x1 one one and stick it on there. And then a, another 1x1 one one and it will go right there. And a 1x4 go next to the mob. Now you'll take a 2x3. Stick it on right here. Make sure you leave a gap here. And then you'll also take a 1x4. Stick it here. Sorry about that. Like that. And a 1x2 Technic piece with two holes. And stick it on right there. And a 1x3 to finish off this layer. Now you just need to put on a top. This all. Take a 2x2, two two, stick it on here. Take a 2x3, stick down next to it. And another one. So now you should have these two pieces. They're the same on this side, except they're opposites. But on this side, they're slightly different. Now you'll take them and and you stick them on like this. This is the one that has a smooth side here. And you'll take the one with holes like this and stick it on the opposite end. And you're done with the base. Now we're going to make the pin that controls the modes for the rocket launcher. First, take this piece, it's a Technic that measures seven studs long. And one of these pieces, and attach them like this. Click on the tip of the rocket to watch part two. This, just sit right in here. Hopefully that's given you enough time to go to part two.